Hello, this is Mark from the Mongoose team. Today we're going to show two ways to get online video into your Mongoose app. First, Dean is going to show us how to do this with a browser component. The browser component makes it easy to insert elements from other websites into your app. For example, you can go to a YouTube video and grab its embed code. Now, go back into Mongoose and put a browser component on your form. The binding type is browser. Click the ellipsis next to binding and paste the embed code into the file name field. Make sure you've selected HTML in the type field. Click OK. Let's see what this looks like on the web. This method works great and is really fast and easy, but what if we want to create a user component that sits in the toolbox so that our users can just drag that component onto any form? Yao is going to show us how to do this next. Here is a demo of the end result. To create a user component, go to Systems, Edit, all the way down, Web User Control Assets, click on New, and in Content Type, click Application User Component. In File, name it something appropriate. This will be the name of the directory that your user component will be contained in. Give it a slash and give it the name of the actual user component, YouTube Player. The name of the user component should match the name you gave it on top, YouTube Player. The source field will reference the JavaScript file used to render the video player. Let's give it the name player.js. Check the show in toolbox, choose an image for the icon, and give it a label name. This is all we will need for now. Let's click OK. OK. Save and clear the cache. Mongoose will prompt you that you have unsaved changes. Let's save them. And clear the cache again. You can see now that after saving our changes, the YouTube Player Demo user component has appeared in our toolbox. But we're not done yet. Let's go back into the web user control assets. And as you can see, YouTube Player Demo has contained within it the YouTube Player user component. Let's click on edit. To the right, you'll see a whole bunch of files you can reference as required. All user components use this Soho XI Soho Util JavaScript file, so be sure to require it. Let's also require some jQuery files that we'll be using later on. Now let's create the player.js file that will be used to render the YouTube player. Let's go to new. Call it player.js. And set the content type to be JavaScript. Let's replace this with the user component template code. In the template, be sure the name in these two cases matches the name of your user component. We're on our last sprint. Now let's define the prototype of our user component. I'll walk you through each piece. GetHTML is a function that returns the iframe that renders the YouTube player component. Here you can set attributes such as width and height. The onFormReady function uses jQuery to set the source attribute of the iframe player to the variable bound to the player. This .contacts.userComp.start value gives us access to the variable bound to the user component. So here's the user experience from now on since we've created a user component in the toolbox. First we just drag on the user component, click the ellipsis in the binding field, bind this user component to our YouTube variable that we created, and set the initial value to the last piece of the video's URL, and we're done. Let's take a look at this in the web. There we go. Another cool thing we could do is have a button on the form that sets the value of this variable to a different video's URL. Here in the HTML5 designer, we can see that I've set this button to generate an event, and we have an event handler listening for that event, and it'll respond by setting the value of the variable to this last part of the video's URL. I've done the same thing and linked up another video with this button. Now clicking the buttons, we'll switch between these videos. 
Setting up these user components only takes a few minutes, and once they're in the toolbox, you can easily just drag them onto any Mongoose form. We'd like to invite you to join the discussion on Twitter and LinkedIn. We really enjoy talking with the community and seeing what you guys want to learn next. Be sure to check out our last video, which goes over some of the enhancements in Mongoose 903. On behalf of the Mongoose team, this is Mark. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.